Be More Lifestyle segment is sponsored by Aesthetic Center at Woodhall. The Aesthetic Center at Wood Home offers an array of options for cosmetic and reconstructive procedures. In addition to a state-of-the-art surgery center, the professional doctors also provide comprehensive skin care and laser services. Well, joining us today is Dr. Theta Contis to talk about the difference between fillers and Botox. All right, now, my friends and I, we're at that age. We need you, okay? Explain <laughs> the difference between fillers and Botox. Um, Botox is a product that relaxes muscles. Mm -hmm. so. Wrinkles come from muscle movement, and when we use Botox, it reduces the movement of the muscle, so the wrinkles get better. Fillers actually fill, so we've learned from studies of aging that as we age, we lose the volume in our face, and then it falls. Fillers fill and help us restore that volume. Okay, so when we talk about fillers, what are some of the common materials that are used for the facial volume replacement? The one that is used the most commonly is called hyaluronic acid, and it's actually synthetically made, but it's in all of our skin. Our skin is made up of this polysaccharide called hyaluronic acid. What's nice about it is it's very natural feeling, and it's dissolvable if there's any issues. Now, where on the face would you use a filler, and then how long would it last? Well, uh, we use it in the areas of the face that we've learned are the areas that lose volume. So in the temples, in the cheeks, sometimes around the lower lids, in the cheek folds, these are the marionette lines. We can use it along the jawline to actually camouflage the jowl. Are there any kind of complications that can occur with filler injections? It's really interesting that people are very afraid of Botox, which mm -hmm. is really safe, and they're very afraid, not afraid of fillers, which are sometimes dangerous. So if fillers are embolized into a blood vessel, it can damage the skin that the blood vessel feeds. It could become infected. So you need to make sure that, um, that you're very confident in the person that's injecting you. We have heard that some facial fillers can maybe swell patients after they receive the COVID vaccine. Can you explain that? Yes, um, the Moderna trial, actually two patients in that trial had some swelling of their facial fillers. It was very mild and very treatable. Um, and so we're not really changing our recommendations because 23 million people now have had uh, the vaccine uh -huh. and they're not having swelling. So what we're advising patients is don't worry about getting fillers and please, if you can get the vaccine, get it and don't worry about the any complications and if you have a problem call your doctor and, and it's very easy to take care of all right makes sense tell everybody where they can find you you can call 410-486-3400 um, and you can also get us at facial-plasticsurgery.com got it dr contis always a pleasure seeing you thank you for joining us today thank you so much good to see you